Welcome to Excellence in Excel. And in this video, we're going to help you out. So this is really a VLOOKUP for dummies. Basically, a very simple way how to do the VLOOKUP. And I will show you a simple way and I'll explain it very quickly. So imagine here we have a situation. We have here a few students. And these students have a test score. And what we want to know is we want to automatically get the grade. And so how does it work? Well, very simple. You can see here we have our grade table. So, for example, John. John has scored 75. And if you have a score of number 75, it's between 70 and 80, meaning you will hit grade C. And Larry, 96. That means a, a plus. Very simple. So we want to get these values, and we're going to use VLOOKUP for that. So step one, let's type in VLOOKUP and then open parentheses. So once you do that, you get like the formula helper. Wonderful. But I'll just click on this button here so we get the formula builder. This is very easy to follow. And here you just get four questions that we need to answer. Question number one, what is the value or what is the lookup value that we need? So we start with this value here, 75, because that's the value value that we want to compare in our grade table. Question number two. What is the table array? Or in other words, where can we find the information that is needed with the score to compare the value of the lookup? Well, very simple. In this case, our grade table contains all the values we need and that's what we need. So we select the grade table here. Question number three. What is the column index number? The column index number is the number based on the table array. So you can see here we selected two columns here. So this is column one and this is column two. In this case, we want to get the letter value. So where, in which column can we find the letter value? In the second column. So we say number two. And finally, we have the range lookup. And the range lookup is exactly what we need because we want to have a value ranging from for example here is 75 everything between 70 and and below 80 is considered as grade C so this is a range lookup and not a match if it's a match lookup it would say well it needs to search for 75 in here and there's no 75 then the VLOOKUP will say no value found so in this case it's a range lookup, yes. To make it true, we type in number one. So you can see here that's true. So we click done to confirm and close the formula builder. And there you are. You can see now we get the grade. And this grade works exactly as we want. However, maybe you say, well, I want to get them now for all of them. And you will select here the small square, you drag it down, but you get some weird values here. What's going on? So if you just double click on it, you can see here the formula is starting to go down continuously with every row and the reason why it will go down here because of the selection here so what we need to do is this selection here you can see this is correct but if we're down it moves down so we need to lock the selection into place how to do that you can click here this is our table array selection and we just click on every cell on this cell here or at least on the f8 and then we type in or we click on f4 Yes, and the same here for G14. You press F4, then you get the dollar sign, meaning they will lock into place. Enter, and now drag this down, and there you are. And here you are. You can see now the values are working, and if you put this down below, you can change the numbers here to 65. You can see what's going on. Everything works exactly as you want to have it. So if you like this, check out the link below. In there you can find a wonderful Excel course and if you have any questions just post them in the comments.